I've had enough of this. It's time to find the answer out to this once and for all. Let's just open up. I'm going to do something quite unprecedented in this series of consisting of two videos. I'm going to open up the RPG Maker editor itself. Yeah, you kids, you pesky kids are going to find out just how badly a Russian man can translate stuff into English. Safe tea boots indeed, good grief. Right then, uh, so I'll just wait for 10 minutes for the folder to load here. Because if for some reason when you use RPG Maker... Well, let's just let, let you listen to the theme tune for now, why not? Just let you listen to the Save the Cows theme tune for now. Oh, you know what, while we're opening that, let's actually try playing the game again, because we're probably going to have to. Save, save, save the cows! 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 It's time to save them! Let's save the cows! Right, the thing opened. Let's see now. Where is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? There it is! Right, you! Let's look at your text... stuff. This is the event screen. When you click on that, you, RPG Maker is made up of objects and events. And an event is a thing that you can push the button beside or touch or it just starts automatically. It does a bunch of stuff. Usually when it's a person and you touch them, it will do text. So, right. We have to find the question that we tried to answer and couldn't do. Uh, the answer is water. I could have sworn I clicked water! Oh, I don't get this anymore. Dr. Ingram, how about your soul give us some hand here? Use your spiritual knowledge. I mean, you're a ghost, can't you? Well, he's not a ghost, he's alive. He's just, his spirit is decided to join us for a while. He's having a, uh, what's it called, out-of-body experience. More like, out-of-cow experience! Ho <laughs> Um... No, that wasn't a joke, never mind. I'm, I'm getting slightly weird. Uh, I just want this stupid game to end already. Uh, the, who wants to be a millionaire? I mean, not save the cows. I honestly would like save the cows to last forever. But, oh well, can't have everything. Yeah, the save the cows is a good old game. Yeah, I can't be bothered with this nonsense anymore. Uh, so, the answer to this is, of course... Cats. Apparently cats. Shinto is the ancient religion of China. I knew that. Well, I knew it was Oriental, anyway. Didn't know it was specifically Chinese, but whatever. Oh, Japan, excuse me. LOST! Right, five questions to go. Can we do it? The, the Kamehameha Dynasty ruled uh, Hawaii? Okay. I'm not going to question you, Robert Ingram. Which play was President Lincoln assassinated at? Now, I'm sure this is common knowledge to Americans. I imagine you get taught this when you're two years old in, in uh, kindergarten or something, but. I don't know. Our American cousin? Okay. That's... I'm not, going to quite, I'm not going to comment on that. Critus? Yeah. Everyone knows that. The oldest Vedic book... Uh... Me out here, game. It was. Oh, that's right, I just remembered at the exact same time that I saw the answer here, of course. It's. Oh, I just remembered at the exact same time I saw the answer here. It's. Yeah, you see, I'm a really intelligent guy. I know these things. Okay, the final question. Here it goes, kids. Time Magazine. Oh, ho, ho. Which one of these people is not Time Magazine Man of the Year? Well, I know Adolf Hitler was. Yes, really. No, really. 
really, it's got to be Einstein. I mean, come on, like he's earned it. Want a million pounds? Get a million dollars, guys! I want a million dollars! Yeah! Minus one for tax? You swindlers! I want a million dollars, fair and square! Give me back my money! Oh yeah, saving Dr. Ingram. Right, sure. Well, Chad and him to go into this forest to find a herb, but they're accosted by a bunch of samurais of swords, because that's what you find in the forest. And, uh, yeah, it's a boring dungeon. Cut! Alright guys, to get the hair we have to fight the demon in the forest. Luckily I healed at the well first, because that's how it goes. And uh, I'm not sure how to break it to you, but this is the hardest fight in the game. I don't know how to break it to you, my fine upstanding citizens, but this is the hardest fight so far. Chad and Kadal can take this guy, except uh, actually they can't because, uh, talk about a difficulty spike. Uh, that demon is hard, but I guess at least I can show you the game over screen. Game over, yeah! uh, I mean, I thought I was bad, and this is good grief, that is... Why is he hard? Well, he doesn't start difficult, but as soon as he starts saying that line over and over again, he gets a couple of new skills that... cause us problems. The first of them is, yeah, he gets healed for 150 HP when our party can probably do maybe 50 or so per round after they've run out of all their magic which happens quickly. And uh, yeah, we, we cannot damage this guy enough to outdo his healing. Not to mention he can make us fall asleep and poison us. Yeah, this fight is an absolute madness. I'm not going to lie, Project Spam, you really turned up the difficulty dial in this one. But I think we've got what it takes. The love of Dr. Ingram will surely pull Chad and, and um, Kadal through. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'm Winston Churchill. I am certainly not Morgan Freeman. Or then Morgan Freeman is certainly not who I am. Yes. 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 yes! yes! And there is a random monkey. Hi, monkey. He won't uh, he won't play into anything. Yeah. Just how things are and save the cow's land. Hey, a cow! Wee! Happy chicken. You're a real jerk, chicken Pete. You're a real jerk, chicken Pete. A real jerk. Has anybody ever told you that? Well, we managed to finally slam that demon and get the herb. So hey, we can go back to Dr. Ingram and save him now, but before that, the game gives us the toughest choice we've had to make so far. And I picked the wrong choice. I, I thought it would give us a bonus, but of course it doesn't. Alright. Let's hurry and get that herb back to Dr. Ingram before he explodes or something. I don't know what happens to people with amnesia. I mean, I'm not a medical doctor. Dr. Ingram might be, because we still don't know what he's a doctor. Oh, right, Dr. And uh, Kadal goes a bit weird. Kadal naturally, but wait, Kadal gets suspicious. He starts to think that, but wait, but, but it's at this point that Kadal becomes suspicious that that woman is trying to kill Dr. Ingram by using the herb that she asked us to give him to cure him on, because that's obviously what's, what, because that's obviously what nurses do. But Chad manages to allay Kadal's suspicions, and uh, he's immediately trusting of her again. And yes, Dr. Ingram is back. Dr. Ingram back on the scene and ready to take on the quiz. Yes, Dr. Ingram is back, back on the scene, dogs. Because no one messes with Dr. Ingram and gets away. Yeah. 
and the nurse is feeling so overjoyed at Dr. Ingram's recovery that she decides to join us herself, naturally, in the uh, battle against cows. And she is going to be our healer, because she is a nurse after all. Uh, hopefully the hospital won't mind this nurse leaving to join us on our quest. Nope, they don't say anything different. Okay, we're just taking your nurse. Goodbye. And, uh, you're the same. Yeah, so, well, Dr. Ingram, we're almost there now. We've saved Dr. Ingram from the clutches of amnesia. But at this point, our heroes realise something. That explosion that happened at the bomb at the rock in India also blew up the ship. So our heroes have no transport. Oh no, just when we were so close. But don't worry, because remember that shrine over here? Well, it just so happens that as of two minutes ago, it's turned into a building with ships leaving from it. Because that's how it goes. So Dr. Ingram commandeers a, an actual ship this time, rather than a little raft. And uh, takes it back to uh, the continent of... Clinton and Futo, I guess. But before we end the game, and but before we do Battle of Chicken Pete and end this most epic quest, let's return to Clinton and see if there's anything interesting to do. Let's return to Clinton and see if there's anything interesting to do. There isn't. go back to Futo and talk to uh, Egan's whatever and uh, he tells us and uh, he says out of charity I guess he decides to swim to India uh, grab the boat that's still there and swim back again yes But our heroes don't want to inconvenience this man, so they have him magically transport them to India. Yeah. So, it's time guys. We've done a, had a long epic journey, but we finally made it to India. Are you ready? This is where Chicken Pete is. The final showdown. The only showdown, really. With Chicken Pete is about to happen. Except there's a guard in the way saying we have to go to the construction site in Clinton. Saying that the construction site is Clinton. Saying that the construction site in Clinton is guarding the way to India and we have to go to them to get in there. <sighs> Spam. Over to Clinton we go, over to Clinton we go, we're going to Clinton, that's what we do, we're going to go to Clinton and have a pot stew, uh, yeah. I'm Dr. Ingram, don't mess with me, yes, my science will make sure that we, my science will, my science will explain to these fine people why we have to go to under. So Dr. Ingram heads to the construction place that if you remember from the first episode, and it's time to talk to the boss. Unfortunately, George Ware, the president of this place, is, shall we say, not the most reasonable man. Uh, how do I put this? He doesn't let us into India. In fact, he doesn't let us into India. So, in fact, he's so displeased of us asking this that he uses a magic spell to teleport us out of his building. Yeah, I don't get it either.
I'm so mad. Right, so now we can get to India. I'm so mad, I'm going to just... There. Better now. So maybe now we can get into this place? Yeah. So Do Dr. Ingram is fed up sick by... At this point in the game, Dr. Ingram is just fed up sick of dealing with construction workers and cheeseburgers and bombs. And he's just had enough. He's going to destroy this stupid guard. We're going to teach you the price of standing in the way of science. That price, of course, being getting blasted by magical spells. And that price being, of course, getting blasted with magic spells in the name of saving cows from demonic chickens. And there's another bunch of them. Cut! Great, that's that done. Now we can... We will prance with an idiot. We will prance like an idiot with caution, indeed. And there's a few more. Cut. And there's more. Cut. Right, is that everyone? Are you guards finished yet? Are the soldier workforce for a construction company basing themselves in India done? But why would they be in India guarding Chicken Pete? It's almost as if they're in league with Chicken Pete. Hey, we've made it, guys. We've made it, girls. We've made it, everybody. Chicken Pete's tower. With a bat and a monkey. And... Chicken Pete... Is baffled by that monkey being there, but that doesn't matter. Chicken Pete! Chicken Pete, we've come for you! This tower's far too high. We will get to your chicken pit. You can't hide from us forever! Even if you're stuck on the... But wait, it turns out, in a plot twist of plot twist, the tower is locked, and Dr. Ingram and friends can't get in without the key, which is... Where's that key? It's in that tower that was in Clinton that we couldn't go in. Our quest is not finished yet, folks. There's still more to do before the final confrontation with Chicken Pete. Also, I wouldn't call that the top half so much as the top, like, 1%. That's like the tiny part of the tower. What do I know? Look at all the graves of the people that Chicken Pete has murdered. All those deaths. On our hands, because we've not been able to stop him. It's time to avenge those poor lost souls. Dr. Ingram. Dr. Ingram. <laughs> Chad, um, Cadal, and Sabine. We must save the cows! Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, this tower. Tower of Gravel. These blue icicles will welder us, but luckily I'm too smart as to walk into those. What do you take me for? I am Dr. Ingram! I'm the man! I'm the man! No one's... But there's a treasure chest there that we really want, but we can't reach. So the good doctor is about to, uh, to do something about that. Yeah! Dr. Ingram wins! The end. Goodbye. See you next time. Next episode.